And here we are, back again. And today, I'm just about to show you how did I photograph the 10,000 euros Mondraker 2022 Summum Carbon XR. This is from far the most expensive bike I have ever had in my own head. So to start with, I just, this idea came across my mind because I went to the shop to, to get some things done on my bike uh, since I was on the Azores and uh, I just looked at this 10,000 year old bike. I just looked at it and I was like, this bike, I've never seen anything so expensive in, in bike wise on my, like close to me. So it was like, I need to photograph this bike. And then I would just quickly went to the Mondraker website and I saw this photograph, this product photograph. And I was like, mm, I need to do something like close to this. I need to do something on a studio that would look like this. And I came up with this idea with painting lights. It, it, I'll show you in a minute, but we just call the owner, uh, Paul Dinesh, thank you. It's the owner of Mountain Bike. Uh, we went there, we picked up the bike, put it on the car. We had to take the photograph so people think we just bought the bike, but no, I would never give 10,000 euros for a bike in my whole life. But anyways, pick up the bike. We went to a car garage, a, a, a mechanic shop, I can call it. And with just this simple LED, we lighted certain spots of the bike. Uh, and then we will later combine it all in Photoshop using a technique called light painting. And here we are on Photoshop. As you can see, uh, we have our base layer photograph, which is nothing like the photograph edited you just saw. But I have my layers here, which indeed are not all the layers I used to make the actual photo you saw, but uh, it, it's a, an easier way to show you how I did it. I have the different lights. I have the base layer, the key light, the backlight, top light, and the background light. Now, what we will do is paint light on it. Gonna deselect all these things and gonna start by the key light. Now, I'm gonna create a mask in here, invert the mask, gonna pick up the brush tool and put this on lighten mode. And you can now see I turn it on and off and nothing happens. Gonna zoom in on the image and I'm gonna start painting the light. We know the key light hits on this left side of the bike. So I'm gonna reduce my pencil and I'm gonna start painting. Look, it's starting to come to life. Just like that. On the bottom, this is all the key light. I'm just gonna speed up the process. Uh, normally I would do a mask all around the bike, but I'm just trying to explain you in a simple way how does this painting light work. Okay, so we have a key light. It's really badly painted. Uh, you need to take more time, it's not that easy. Take more time, you do these things better, but this is just a quick explanation. So we have the key light done. Now we go to, for example, the backlight. Uh, do the same exact thing, create a, a layer, invert layer, put it on lighten mode, and let's start painting the part it appears, which is this back part, this back part over here, right over here, you might just hit some more right here, on the back, right in here. Yeah, you, you know, it's just like painting light, you do what you want, Look, it just stays way, way better. Uh, then we add the top light, which is gonna be inside right here. Add a mask, run I to invert it. So here we go, put on the lighting, there we go. Put it all, the saddle looking nice and great. All the back wheel has a little bit more touch on it. And yeah, you just play with this, put on exposure after exposure and it will start to look great then you want to just mask out the bike in case anything hits the background but in this case i'm just doing it super quickly so you can understand then we go to the background on the background do the same exact thing put this thing on 
instead of lighten, because it's not gonna look that great, we're gonna put on linear add. And for example, with just a quick, simple setup, I'll, I'll take myself off then, but this is just a quick thing for you to learn how to do it. I just took this photograph from this to this. It's incredible. With just a couple, of, uh, a couple of minutes doing this, you you now can take more time and do the things correctly. Then you take it to Lightroom and correct the rest and take this thing out. But anyways, with, with just some minutes, you can have this like this. It's simple. And that's it. Uh, in the end, we didn't actually had much time to actually ride the bike and, and test out the bike because well first of all it, it is on the shop to sell we, we can't just make it dirty or anything but uh, we spend all the time just doing the exposures correctly all the photographic uh, parts done well and uh, we didn't actually test the bike i just have to say it's a super lightweight bike and by the specs and components it has on it it's a it's a beast it's a beast it is really beautiful the frame it's it's amazing uh, but anyways, this one was a more of a learning kind of tutorial look-alike video. Hope you guys learned something with this and hope you guys are interested uh, in seeing more of these photographs. Hopefully I'll do it where... Well, let's expect a Santa Cruz for the next time. I don't know. I'll see. I'll see if I can find a Santa Cruz and photograph it like this. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys had learned anything uh, important with this. And I'll see you guys next time.